I hope you got something out of the Q&A episode I did a couple weeks ago answering your questions. If you missed it, please go back and listen to episode 42. Today, I am going to continue in that vein, answering more of your questions. So let's get right into it. The first question is, Why is it important to forgive? You know, I heard somewhere that forgiveness is like drinking poison and expecting someone else to die. Forgiveness is really for us. It's not really so much about the other person. Obviously, you are forgiving them for something they did or something they said, but forgiveness is really to help you. It's to help you heal. It's to help you move on. It's to help you uproot bitterness and hatred and resentment and sadness and all of that stuff that can stay in your heart if you don't uproot it and release it. You know, we focus so much on the offender when we think or we talk about forgiveness, and we really don't talk much about the part we play. There's a quote that says something like, you know, what they did is on them, but your healing is on you. Forgiveness is a necessary step in the healing process. Forgiving someone is not condoning their behavior or giving okay to what a person did or said, but it is an attempt to move on so you can heal and so the person or the incident doesn't hold you hostage anymore. Because oftentimes, the people we refuse to forgive have moved on while we are still stuck in time, still being triggered and remembering what happened like it was yesterday. It is not to say that trauma and PTSD and other things that may have happened as a result of what you experience aren't real or serious, but it is to say that your healing journey somewhere in there is definitely going to require forgiveness. It is unavoidable. Furthermore, the Bible commands us to forgive, and we do so because God forgives us. And our prayers will be hindered if we don't forgive. And we don't want that to happen. We really don't want our prayers to God to go unanswered, right? So do whatever you have to do to heal so you can forgive. Pray to God for strength to do it. Forgive even if you don't get an apology or get closure. Go to counseling if that is what is necessary to get you to the point of forgiveness. But forgive and do it as quickly as you possibly can before too much bitterness takes root in your heart. Because once bitterness takes root, it can take over your whole identity and it can influence how you see and how you interact with people. You can end up becoming a bitter person, not just a person bitter over what someone did or said. I really hope you caught the difference there. You can be bitter over what someone did or said, but forgiveness helps you to not become a bitter person. I'm going to read a quote by Desmond Tutu on this very topic. And he says, without forgiveness, we remain tethered to the person that harmed us. Until we can forgive them, that person will hold the keys to our happiness. That person will be our own jailer. When we forgive, we take back control of our own fate and our feelings. We become our own liberator. All right, let's move on to the final question. Which do you think is more challenging, loving yourself or loving your neighbor? You know, if you have followed the podcast, you may remember I I did two episodes on love. One was loving yourself and then loving others. So, you know, when asked to uh, determine which is the more challenging of the two, I had to really think about that. That's a tough one because I think both loving yourself and loving others come with challenges. But I'm going to choose loving others as the more challenging of the two. You know, you know, I have an expression that life would be easy if it weren't for the people factor because you can't change other people. You can't you can make adjustments, you can improve yourself, you can modify your own behavior, but you can't do that with other people. They ultimately control their behavior, not you. That is why I think there's a scripture that says, as far as it is with you, be at peace with all men. Because you can you can influence people, but you can't decide for them. You can't control their thoughts. You can't control their actions. You know, you can love someone, but because you can't legislate the heart, you have no control over if they love you back or if they give you the love, love the way you need it or want it. So I would say in, in a nutshell, you know, the greater challenge, at least for me, and I believe 
for many others as well, would be loving other people. That is all I have for today. Thank you for listening to today's episode. And remember, if you have any questions you want me to answer on future Q&A episodes, please comment on any of the platforms you are listening from. You can message me via the Try Again with Monique Facebook page or leave a voice message at speakpipe.com slash try again, speakpipe.com slash try again. Bye for now.